Yeah, so uh, me and my buddy, we were at the Spencer shop and we were about to leave. And then that's when I heard the three shots go off. But uh, I went to go investigate to see what, what was the sound. And then right when I kind of like peered my head out, I saw a, uh, a barrel to one of the weapons. Uh, that's when I uh, circled back and told everybody that we needed to leave and that it was an active shooter event. And uh, we went back to the vehicle and then we were going to leave. And I started helping people out with kids to get them to their vehicles mm -hmm. uh, because I didn't want anything bad happening to kids, you know, because I'm a father of three. Um, so I just wanted to make sure they were okay and they got to their destination safer than what I could, than what they could have arrived for themselves. But yeah. So, so you were inside of the mall. Do you mind um, <coughs> describing what it was, what it looked like inside of the mall after those shots were fired? What was going on? Um, yeah. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, we were in Spencer's. There was about I want to say like six to eight people in the store, and after I circled back, I, people started like moving, and I told them just go back to the. If we have an emergency exit, go to the back and like just leave. Uh, it was kind of crowded. People were pushing each other, which is understandable given the circumstances. But um, other than that, everything was efficient. The response time by the police was very impressive. So I'm glad for the police on that. So, yeah, you, you mentioned the response time by, by police. I mean, how fast um, did police get there after the shots were fired? <laughs> After I dropped off the first family, I want to say there was like four squad cars already at the location and they were already like putting their gear on, ready to like stand out and hold out if they needed to. So it was, it's pretty quick. I, I can't really tell you how fast it was because it was due to the adrenaline. But other than that, everything was really fast. Now, what was going through your head during that moment? What was playing uh, through your head at that time? Uh, during that time, I just I was worried about the safety of myself and others around me because I'm I've, I've always wanted to be law enforcement or military and I have that like protective side of for people. So I just wanted to make sure everybody else was okay, especially the little kids that were in the store too. Now, would you say that the mall was like full at the time that everything played out? Uh, no, it wasn't full. I, it was like mid afternoon, so everybody was getting out of school or just getting out of work. Um, so it was it was a decently sized amount of people but it wasn't packed like I'm not sure how many people were injured uh, so hopefully it's not that many I know there's bound to be a couple people unfortunately but that's about it now you, you were saying that uh, you you got separated from your friend no do you mind talking to me a little bit about that yeah uh, my friend his name is Sebastian Fernandez uh, when we were driving we saw a mother holding a baby and he told him, my he told me, he was like, you know what, I'm going to get out and run to Red Lobster. Uh, you just give this woman a ride, meet me back at uh, Cinemark. And so after I got that lady dropped off, the, uh, an officer stopped me because I was going back and forth. I'm pretty sure I looked suspicious, which I understand. But I told him, he got my name, he got my information, and I was still uh, held it out uh, because people wanted to talk to me about the incident. And after that, uh, I was able to go, but uh, my friend's safe. That's all I know. So that's good. As you know, the Silo Vista Mall is really close to the Walmart uh, where the August 3rd shooting happened. I mean, um, your reaction to that, I mean. <coughs> I thought it was in, uh, not interesting, but weird as well, uh, seeing as how it's due to like so close. Uh, I just, I hope nobody from that incident was at the mall because I know that's a traumatic event and I don't want anybody to li relive that again. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to give any information because I don't know, like, I don't know what was going on. So I can't really tell you what the person was thinking or anything like that. So, yeah. Well, Darren, thank you so much for joining us. Anything else that you might be uh, willing to say or like to share? Uh, no, I'm good. I just, I hope everybody is safe. I know there's a couple people that are injured because I was overheard uh, somebody recently. But I hope everybody is okay and a speedy recovery.